Nansan Silicon Valley is building a major platform for international cooperation in the country's seed industry. As a forefront of importing foreign expertise and exporting domestic innovations, it will facilitate deep integration of seed resources, technology, and talent. Chinese Academy of Tropical Agricultural Sciences has attracted groups of foreign researchers. Together with Chinese colleagues, they have done many academic exchanges and innovations. Chengqing's team has been dedicated to the research of green and integrated pest management for cassava for many years. In 2023, the team welcomed a new addition, George, a foreign student from Nigeria, the world's largest cassava producing country, a harvested area. My student is tackling the Tetranichus urticae, a pest that heavily impacts his nation's cassava crops. By merging insect and pesticide resistance studies, we aim to develop cassava varieties that resist pests with advanced technologies ensuring both high yields and green approaches. This effort is key to maintaining the quality and safety of Nigeria's agricultural output, as well as its food and ecological security. Yeah, my, my main responsibility in my team at the moment is to um, augment the resistance of um, cassava varieties against pests, mm -hmm. you know, um, the detriment and the um, damages caused by pests around the world, especially in cassava, is very enormous. And international cooperation, especially in the seed industries, is going to be beneficial to both countries and it's going to lead to advancements beyond bounds of how to elevate people from poverty and hunger. Over the years, Chinese research institutions have developed new agricultural varieties and technologies that are now spreading across countries like Nigeria, the Republic of Congo, Uganda, and Cambodia, covering over 10 million more. The Academy is also teaming up with African nations in industries like coffee and sisal. Yi Kexian, an expert in tropical crop disease prevention and resistance breeding, leads a diverse team of international researchers. My team now has three African researchers. One of them is a PhD student from Liberia diving into coffee research. Given Liberia's status as the birthplace of the large bean coffee variety, its coffee industry is vital. Equipped with new techniques from China, he's set to make a substantial impact on Liberia's coffee sector when he returns home. The Academy is collaborating with African nations, including Ethiopia, Cote d'Ivoire, and Kenya, to work on an efficient breeding system for African coffee. Looking ahead, the Academy plans to share eco-friendly coffee farming practices, top Chinese coffee varieties, and advanced tech equipment with Africa.